welcome to no physics with me so in previous session we saw about a right hand thumb rule and today we are going to solve one numerical based on that right hand thumb rule which is given in ncrt class 10 textbook okay so right hand thumb rule based on that we will solve a numerical and those who have missed the explanation of right hand thumb rule i'll provide you the link in the description box you can check it out okay and then come here so you will have a easy understanding of how to solve this question okay yes so the question is like this example 13.1 a current through a horizontal power line flows in east to west direction what is the direction of magnetic field at a point directly below it and at a point directly above it okay so they are telling us we have a current carrying conductor and the direction of current is flowing from east to west for me it is like this for you it will be from like this so i will show in this direction itself so this is my east my right hand side is my east right and my left hand side is my west so from east to west it is flowing so my finger thumb finger should face like this and the closing fingers that is other four fingers should be like this yes or no yes now our question is we have a point above it and below it what is the direction of magnetic lines of course they are asking so current direction they have given as flowing from east to west what is the direction of magnetic lines of course at a point above it and below it they are asking so let us consider a point above it okay and a point below it say your current is flowing from east to west and check for your fingers it is curling like this so when you view it from this end when you view it from this end what is happening like this it is flowing so it is in clockwise direction okay it is flowing like this so when viewed from east end it is flowing in clockwise direction irrespective of the point so from above point or below point whichever point you see it is flowing in clockwise direction whereas viewed from west end that is from this end you are viewing and now from this end we are viewing so when viewing from this end it is in anti clockwise direction you can check to it you can roll your finger and see so it is in anti clockwise direction so here also you can say the point above and below it when viewed from west end it is in anti clockwise direction whereas when viewed from east end it is in clockwise direction i hope you are clear with this point yes so once again i show you this is your current carrying conductor it is moving from east to west so the direction is like this so keep your finger like this towards west okay so yeah curling finger should be like this you have to view it from both the ends so you will have two different direction clear yes. 